Playing ping. <laughs> Patch will be greatly missed. He was a loving, loyal, and above all, obedient dog. Roll over. <laughs> Are you the one they call Quasimodo? Yes, I am the bell ringer. I to meet you. I am... I know who you are. You are beautiful and I am ugly. I care not what you look like. Please turn round. No, I am a beast. You are not a beast. You're a man. A man with a soul. And through your eyes I shall see that soul. Then I shall judge your beauty. <laughs> oh, my God! Can you turn round again, please? Could one so beautiful learn to love someone so ugly? Mm, no. <laughs> I warned you I was ugly. Yeah, well, there's ugly and there's ugly, but that's just taking the piss. <laughs> yes, but what about the... Uh, yeah, not too close, please. Yeah, all right, you're not so great yourself, you know, love. <laughs> well, at least both my eyes look in the same direction. Yeah, uh, that's because my eyes are trying to avoid making contact with your face. <laughs> yeah, well, at least I don't spend most of my time cooped up in a bell tower, you freak. Yeah, well, I'm not the one that came up here looking for a fella I've never even met, you slag. <laughs> down, ready to play. Robbed a house, number five. <laughs> Little old lady, 86. <laughs> she called the cops, 999. <laughs> Got hit in the jaw, lost some teeth, three. <laughs> Got away in a flash, had the stroke of 12. <laughs> Hijacked a bus, the number 47. <laughs> Cops pulled me over, doing 65. <laughs> Sentenced by the judge, got eight. <laughs> the wife moved in with Stan, who she left me for. <laughs> On its own, me. <laughs> Mate. Lovely. Now, anyone who's wearing a suit for the first time. <laughs> Super. Now, drunk uncles. All drunken uncles. <laughs> Invited out of politeness, but wasn't expected to turn up. <laughs> okay. Super. Now, anyone who slept with the bride. <laughs> slept with the groom. <laughs> and anyone who thinks this will last. Support victims of pickpockets. Support victims of pickpockets. Support victims... Oh, thank you very much, sir. Support... <laughs> I'm 
a fruitcake salesman. What are you selling? Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> If anybody was wondering where Dave Smith was for an hour after work yesterday, ask Jenny Preston at number four. <laughs> so I said to the man in the shop this afternoon, don't even think about selling me a dodgy tumble dryer. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having a dodgy tumble with you, love. I said I may be a woman. You're all woman to me. But don't even think about ripping me off. I wouldn't mind you ripping something off me. <laughs> And decided to give me a replacement. I'd give you a replacement of my own. And he's going to deliver it on Thursday afternoon. I'll give you a Thursday afternoon delivery. And he's going to give me a 25% refund on the original price. Yeah, I'd give you a 25% refund of my own original price. And because of the inconvenience, he's going to throw in a free portable stereo entertainment system. Yeah, if it's entertainment you want, I'd throw in my own portable inconvenience. You're not even making sense now, you know. I'm very, very lonely! <laughs> At least it's straight. Absolutely useless. You're an embarrassment, Tim. What are you doing? I don't look like I'm doing. I'm binning the children. What? I've gone off them. They're not what I wanted. You can't just bin them. Oh, come off it, Sean. They're rubbish. My canteen's kids can do all sorts. They can say the times tables. They can swim without armbands. The eldest one can even play the recorder. And what can these two do? Nothing. Mummy, Daddy, we love you. <laughs> Come on, then. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> OK, Lee, lamb passanda, pilau rice, Ronnie, chicken korma, mushroom rice, Jim, chicken tikka masala, sagaloo, karen beef, madras, ball rice. Is that right? No. Oh. OK, mushroom rice, chicken tikka masala, chicken korma, sagaloo, lamb passanda, beef, madras, ball rice, sagaloo, chicken korma, pilau rice. Is that right? No. OK, chicken tikka masala, ball rice, mushroom rice, sagaloo, chicken korma, lamb passanda, pilau rice, beef, madras, ah, mushroom rice, pilau rice. Tim? Yes? We ordered Chinese. <laughs> Dyed it blonde, you know, just for a change. <laughs> oh, yeah, do the collars match the cuffs? <laughs> <laughs> what? Is the, up, you know, is the upstairs carpet the same colour as the downstairs rug? Pardon? Is the icing sugar the same colour as the birthday cake? Or is the uh, roof rack a different colour to the front bumper? I really don't know. Is the mantelpiece you... the same colour as the fireplace? Is the top deck the same colour as the engine room? <laughs> Do you mean, have I dyed my pubic hair? I'm very, very lonely! I dyed your full house. Here it is. No, I said, where's the bin go? <laughs> Sorry, mate, we're full. It's all right, my mate of Tony's. Who's Tony? Who's Tony? Curly's brother. Curly? Yeah, Curly. He's one of the managers. There's none of the managers here called Curly. No, that's not his name. That's what I know him as. Which one's Curly? Is that John? Yeah. There's no one here called John. <laughs> oh, that. John's what I know Curly as. It's his nickname. Curly's nickname is John. <laughs> you know, as it looks like John Hurt. None of the managers look like John Hurt. That's the joke. He doesn't look anything like John Hurt, so we call him John. He hasn't got curly hair, so we call him Curly. Do you get it? So he's got straight hair and he looks nothing like John Hurt. <laughs> that's it. Curly. Sounds like Pete. <laughs> this is such a lovely place. Wait till you taste the food. Isn't it great, Susie passing a driving test? <laughs> yes, real triumph for her. No, darling. Do you think there was someone creeping around the garden last night? <laughs> I, I'm not so sure, but it certainly was very spooky. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
Well, I don't know. P perhaps we're imagining things. I mean, after all, we have just been to Aunt Meg's funeral. You know, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow night's concert. The piano concerto? Yes. <laughs> Do you know what music they're going to be playing? Oh, yes. It's Rachmaninoff's piano concerto in F sharp minor. <laughs> <laughs> Alphabet. It goes like this A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABC. Come along and sing with me. I'll never remember that. <laughs> it's your job to remember. How does it go again? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That'll do. No, it won't do. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. That's a bit I'll struggle with. It's too much. What about this? <clears throat> A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now let's learn to count to three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're doing counting, are we? No. What are we doing? Alphabet. Now repeat. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. H, I, J, K, M, N, E, P. <laughs> H, I, J, K, M, L, E, P. You're saying Emily, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yeah, it's wrong. It's too fast. It's got to be fast to rhyme. Oh, it's got to rhyme. Yes. Oh, OK. What about A, B, F, C, J, L, G, E, K, I, O, P, H, M, N, D. It's got to rhyme and be in the right order. You're just picking on me now. Now we'll go again. A, B, C, D, eyes to me. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, E, P. L, M, N, O, P. I want to go home. L, M, N, O, P. L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V. Q, R, S, T, U, V. W, X. W, oh. That bell's for me, not you. <laughs> w, X, Y, and Z. W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Come along and sing with me. Hey, kids, before we go, let's do nursery rhymes. Ba 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 Look what I bought today. What is it? It's one of those things you put between the back seat of the car and the boot, keeps the dog separate from us. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Bromley. I think you were calling for the Plaza Cinema in Burnley. Is this correct? No, Bromley. <laughs> Welcome to the Plaza Film Line for Burnley. I want Bromley. Please say the name of the film you wish to see. If you wish to start again, please say Plaza General Information. Plaza General Information. <laughs> you have chosen the film My Partner's Long Vacation. <laughs> Plaza General Information. I think you were saying Plaza General Information. Is this correct? Yes. Hello, and welcome to the Plaza Film Line for General Information. Right. For Burnley. I want Bromley. For film times, please say the names of the film you wish to see. If you wish to start again, please say Plaza General Information, or say different plaza to change your location. Different plaza. I think you are saying dancing harder. Certificate 18, is this correct? Different plaza. I think 
like you were saying, different plaza. Is this correct? Yes. Hello, and welcome to the Plaza Film Line General Information. Please say the name of the Plaza Cinema you are calling for. For example, say Bromley. Bromley. I think you were saying Bromley. Is this wrong? Yes. No, it's white! It's white! Please say the name of the Plaza Cinema you are calling for. For example, say Bromley. Bromley! Hello, and welcome to the Plaza Film Line for Bromley. Please say the name of the film you wish to see. For example, say the brunette bride that brainwashed the brigadier. <laughs> What are we doing tonight? We're having a biryani. <laughs> oh, yay! Oh, yay! Alan Hargreaves is 46 and still wets the bed. <laughs> oh, yay! Oh, yay! Hi, darling. You're home early. I know. There was hardly any traffic in the outside lane at all. Enjoy your meal. Excuse me. I thought it was all you can eat for three pounds. That is all you can eat for three pounds. <laughs> Woo! That must have got 170 yards, that. Yes, but the hole is that way. <laughs> So, what seems to be the problem, then? Oh, it's not me, Doctor. It's my friend. OK. What's the matter with your friend? Well, I think he's having problems with his sexuality. It feels like he's a woman trapped inside a man's body. Don't worry, I understand. Pauline. Pauline? That's the woman who's trapped. We might be talking about gender realignment surgery. Ah, well, there's a problem with that. Really? You see, Pauline isn't sure about her sexuality, either. Well, she wouldn't be. She's trapped inside your friend. No, I mean, she's got a man trapped inside of her. Alan. Alan. Alan? Alan is trapped inside Pauline. So, let me get this straight. Your friend is a woman trapped inside a man's body. Yeah. But there's a man trapped inside the woman's body. Spot on. So, that would mean a gender realignment to allow your friend to become Pauline, then another one to become Alan. That sounds messy. Mm. Here's a thought. Wouldn't it kill two birds with one stone if your friend just stayed as they were? Oh, no. Jackie would never put up with that. <laughs> She's the woman trapped inside of Alan, and she doesn't get on with Pauline. Mm. Mm. Your friend sounds very confused. Has he got any family he can talk to? Not really. He's just got me and the cat. You sure it's not a dog trapped inside a cat's body? Pardon? <laughs> this friend of yours is you, isn't it? Me? No, no, it's my flatmate. No, it is, honest. So why didn't you bring your flatmate here? I did. He's in the bag. <laughs> Just gonna make a cup of tea, love. You seen the sugar? In the red corner, contained in a salmon pink Tupperware box, wearing the letter S, Weighing in at 450 grams, all the way from Tate and Lyle, <laughs> it's the sugar! <laughs> Thank you, dear. That's all right, love. <laughs> OK, team. Mr. Vine called this meeting last night. I've absolutely no idea what it's about, but I must warn you, he did seem very, very concerned. I have Mr. Vine on the line for you now. OK, thanks, Marcia. Put him through. Hi, Lee. Hi, Tim. So, what was it you wanted to say? Look, I'll get straight to the point. There's something very serious I have to tell you. I know I'm your boss, but I regard you as a friend. I've been doing something I shouldn't have, something wrong. Look, Tim, do you think this is the right time? No, I want to. The thing is, I like knickers. 
I like wearing knickers, women's knickers, and tights. My wife doesn't know, but when she's out, I slip upstairs, put on her underwear, and pretend I'm called Agnes. Look. I even wear them at work. You know that health and safety talk to the staff I gave last week? I did it wearing pop socks, peekaboo bra, and camisole panties. I had to tell somebody I'm going insane. Just please remember what I said last night, Lee. I need to tell you this in confidence. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tim. I thought you said in conference. <laughs> Isn't this a lovely restaurant? Yeah, it certainly is. I love the way they cook the meal at the table. Mm. Not sure about the washing up, though. <laughs> to welcome you all to the phobia workshop. Uh, my name's Lee, uh, and I actually have a phobia myself. I have a fear of the word which is spelt A-A-G-H exclamation mark. That word. <laughs> um, why don't you tell me a bit about yourselves, starting with you? Uh, hi, everyone. My name's Jim, and I have a fear of apologies. Sorry? Ah! 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 <laughs> oh, apologies. Yeah. Sorry. Is it any sort of apologies? Yes. Right. Well, we'll just try and avoid them, shall we? What's your problem? Uh, my name's Karen, and I have a fear of repetition. Oh, you have a fear of... <laughs> yeah, I said it there, didn't I? Very, very. Okay. <laughs> and you are? Um, my name's Ronnie, and I have a fear of awkward silences. <laughs> How long do these silences have to be? That was borderline, that one. Right. <laughs> Let's try and keep the conversation flowing then, shall we? Hello, I'm Tim. Sorry I'm late. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's OK. Let me introduce you to everybody. This is Karen. She has a fear of repetition. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? I bark at other people's phobias. <laughs> I think I should have just dealt with you on a one-to-one -one basis. You're here now. My name's Lee. I have a fear of the word which is spelled A-A-G-H, exclamation mark, that word. And this is Ronnie. She has a fear of awkward silences. All oh, right, so we'll try and keep the conversation flowing, then, eh? <laughs> he said that earlier. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just try and make some progress, please? <laughs> right, this is Jim. He has a fear of apologies. Terribly. <laughs> OK, Jim, would you like to tell the group how this problem started? Yes, well, it all began when I first tried on my grandmother's stockings. Tomorrow night, it's a question of lost identity. A bit of a conundrum as to whether the lead character is alive or dead in Goodbye, Mr. Steadman at 20 past nine tomorrow evening. And you can see the sketch show again on Monday evening at 10.30.